Excellency, thank you very much for your time. And I'm, I'm particularly pleased that we're joined also by Tristan Williani, uh, the Prison Director of Jazz Property Group, who you've known for a number of years. Um, we met, I think, probably nine months ago. Yeah. And nine months ago, we had a, I think probably nine months ago, and nine months ago, we had a concept. But we had nothing more than a concept. And I just wanted to pass on my thanks to you um, and for the introduction to an individual like, like Trisner. Um, he owns the property. He, he, he owns a substantial amount of property. And uh, to date, I mean, and, I mean, who, who knows what holds for the future, but to date it's been an extremely productive relationship for us. Um, and I think we can, I hope, bring onto line in Jakarta a very exciting product to fill the gap for aged care, which hasn't been provided in the past. So I just wanted to pass on my thanks to you uh, that we're, we're making good progress. Um, and as I said, who knows what holds for the future, but all things being equal, we would hope to be done, begin construction in an area like Quintara sometime next year. So I've got a small gift. Thank you very much. So this is very early stages, but this gives you some idea as to the type of development. Approximately about 240 apartments uh, located in Bintaro. It's not sector nine, is it? It's beyond sector nine now. It is the end of the British oh. yeah. um, And 240 apartments, they'll be independent living. So it's not a nursing home, they're still independent, but they still have all of the services and support of 24 hour nursing care. Um, if I can bring you back to where we do it. I think so. I can show you. Yes, I'm not conscious. Did that be some of the last thing you see? yesterday in uh, Kuala Lumpur and all of Asia is struggling with the same problems that Indonesia seniors are. Dr. Zafal Tafel, who's one of the commissioners of our company here in Indonesia, just returned from yeah. China. Chamber of Commerce here. He has been our resident of Jakarta for some 35 or years. 30 years? Jakarta only in 2018. 
and and many moons ago we was in fact <laughs> worked with, uh, with was with Borel, uh, an Australian concreting company, which I think Jai Construction had a joint venture with the Borel. Yeah, to uh, to probably some with Borel until last year. That's right. Through the Jai Enterprise. That's right. Until uh, our Australian Borel. company went broke. Yeah. Yes, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, the team we've put together now. Um, between somebody like Dr. Zafal Taffel, who's the head of public health at University of Indonesia, somebody like Malcolm Llewellyn, who's been a, a, a prominent uh, businessman here within Indonesia over many, you know, some 20, 30 odd years now, and then to have a relationship with a company like Jai Property Group has allowed us to move a concept, which it was nine months ago when we met, into an actual business now. And I, as I said, I'd like to thank you for that assistance and, and for that introduction. One of the we've kept in uh, very close contact with uh, Dewi, who's the president head of the Indonesian Nursing Association. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Who's the head of the Indonesian Nursing Association here, and also the dean of nursing at the University of Indonesia, and and we are looking forward to having a joint program with her to assist in training. So even though this will be a private facility, we are intending to be able to train some of the nurses off-site, so that the standard of care for elderly nursing becomes much better here in Jakarta and much more specialised. So we would certainly hope to be able to, in maybe one or two years, to be able to take you to a, to the site, to, to open it. Um, and as I said, it's it's able to open it with to the mayor of the. Tengguru, <laughs> yeah, he may be very upset <laughs> if he saw you down there. <laughs> <laughs> Discounted price. Discounted price. You can't tell us that you have wanted to watch the opening. That's right. Very true. We send the elder go there. Well, your project yesterday, you had five people cutting the tape. We saw the picture. Oh. <laughs> Even included the army. Yeah. Yeah. That's the protocol I know. Yeah. So they fear have to fight people. <laughs> As I said, I think, I think it's, a, it's not just a normal property development. Um, it has implications for healthcare, it has implications for raising attention to seniors' care, and I think it places Jakarta first amongst Indonesia. And as I said, I returned from a conference yesterday in Kuala Lumpur, it actually places Jakarta first amongst Southeast Asia. There was a conference of 300 people and everybody was talking about the same problem, but nobody was doing anything about it. And I think the model that we have in conjunction with Jai Property Group, I think we can actually show that it works. It can financially work and it can provide an essential service to elders. So again, thank you very much. And as I said, I very much appreciate the opportunity to have met Trisna, which wouldn't have happened if not through your introduction. So thank you. He's our best CEO. <laughs> That's why his income is Bigger. <laughs> he has the ultimate privilege. He can fire me anytime. He's giving me a second. Absolutely. Um, I don't think there was any. Uh, I'll, I'll, the only other thing I'll give you, Excellency, is just an updated company profile, which, as I said, moves. When I last gave this to you, some nine months ago, it was again very much just a concept. And now we're moving into a viable business model. I think you may recognise that person. Yeah, yeah. Put my picture in. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you came here, it's, it's been Thursday. Thursday. And the Friday, Friday. Yeah, Friday. Yes. 
and this is typical solo. And is the governor always wearing the solo suit? Mrs. Governor always, and Mr. Governor always give me a, a blanket <laughs> from solo suit. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, but I wear this not because my boss, but because I love this. It's, yeah. it's good. Well, it's much lighter than all this rubbish. But yes, uh, for us, it's better. Many pocket. <laughs> when I was a parliament member, I like to wear this because I don't need to bring a bag. Just put it. Many Mobile phone, phone wallet, phone. pens, <laughs> business cards. <laughs> Uh, one other thing I should add is my thanks to Susan. So after we met last time, uh, I think you organised for us to visit uh, an aged care facility here run by the Jakarta government. And I should say that whilst the actual, the, the physical premises will be different, what we're offering in Pintaro, the level of care was fantastic. It was spotlessly clean and the residents, you could see, were genuinely enjoying their time there. And the attendants weren't, weren't just employees; they were they were they were loving the residents with them. It was, it was terrific to, to be able to see it. Oh, did they play? They were by the they were by the unit, right? In this part. Yes. In the sale sale unit. Correct. Sale unit. Yeah. 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 The idea is that the location will have to be very suitable <coughs> for the elderly, yeah, close to the some restaurant, within walking distance to the restaurant, within walking distance to the hospital, walking distance to the jogi, uh, walking paths. You know, like, so that's why the location has to be <coughs> a very suitable location. Mm -hmm. So, again, I, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Yeah. I appreciate you were, you were very busy. Thank you again. I know the request from the Indonesian Ambassador's Office in Australia only came through to your office last week. Um, so thank you for, for, for making this time. Thank you very much. I have one more thing. <coughs> These were newspapers, the last Dutch newspaper here in Jakarta. So, so immediately, yeah, yeah, 1946. And it's the last few sheets of the Dutch publication of the Jakarta publication. So please, I hope you enjoy it. And keep good care of it. To your boss, it wouldn't mean much from Solo City, but for as a Jakarta resident like yourself, uh, please.